it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. I just, I don't even want to do an intro because I want to paint, paint pretty things. So that's what we're going to do. tutorial is gonna be so much fun. Uh, we have these lovely heart boards over at ohyourlovely.com. Uh, we tend to create these fun wreaths seasonally. Um, so this one is the heart one. We also have one other back there. I've already worked on that one. That says love. Um, I'm sure spring ones are on their way super soon. But I want, what I want to do, and we'll really get into it, I love conversation hearts but I hate how they taste. I just like how they look. So I think we're gonna, that's gonna be our color palette for this, those like really pretty pastel-y um, colors. So we're gonna paint this and then we're gonna add flowers to the bottom and it's going to be a conversation heart explosion. Extravaganza. Just pick a word, that's what it's gonna be. All right, let's jump into it. The supplies that you'll need for this tutorial. A wreath. Yeah. That's what we're gonna work with today. Um, I'm working with the heart one, but we have others. You'll need paint of your choosing. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. This is really pastel-y. I'm loving it so much. It's like, it's spring, but not spring. Paint brushes, uh, water cups, all of that stuff. And then wood flowers at the end to fill it in if you want. I think this one would be really cute to also just put a stain at the bottom since we're going um, very color explosion to begin with, but we'll add flowers too. Also, already in that like, oh, I'm so excited! I'm staring at them. They're off to the side. You'll see them in a minute. Um, greenery, all of that stuff. So this is super, super, super. What's the word? Customizable. It comes eventually. Customizable. So do do, do what you want, but you need a wreath. That's the biggest part, and then the rest is up to you. Oh, should we add glitter? No, we won't. Right. I've got I've got my paint set aside. There's there's the colors we're working with. Um, I've got a couple different paint brushes. You could just wipe off your paint brushes, but I use different sizes because we have different kind of kind of like teeny teeny tiny and fairly large. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just I'm just gonna dive in. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I think one coat should be enough, but if we find that it needs to take two coats, then it needs to take two coats. Okay, so everything is painted. I'm gonna show you this fun little trick I learned about you can use makeup, the little makeup, those little triangle guys, to dab on your color. Now I didn't want to do that with the hearts itself just because I felt like there was too much too much like things going next to each other and all that stuff. But we're gonna do that on the outer edge of this because I want to I'm gonna paint that white, I think. I think that's gonna be the best idea. Maybe if I can get paint out of my bottle. That's gonna be a number one hit somewhere, someday. Nowhere. It's gonna be a number one hit, nowhere. I'm just gonna dab some paint on there. And actually with that, and we're gonna just dabby dabby dab. We'll be a little bit careful around the one, like of the other colors when we're going through there. But then you don't get globs of paint around your edges, especially when we're talking about this is the edge everybody's gonna see on the the wreath. That's pretty nice. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna show you one other thing we're gonna do while we wait for Vikram the glue gun to warm up. So I have this moss sheet. It comes in a sheet, so you've got this like backed paper or whatever to it. Um, and that makes it perfect for this kind of project. So what I'm gonna do, 
So I'm gonna kind of line it up. I want something on the base and I don't wanna cover it all with my other greenery. So instead what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of trace out the wreath itself, the bottom part, and cut that out to shape and then we can glue it straight onto the bottom of that wreath. All right, Vikram is warmed up. So let's, where did this one come from? There, maybe? Okay, sorry. <laughs> let's pop on our moss first. Just a whole bunch of glue. You could probably use some sort of other favorite adhesive for that too. But I like me some hot glue, as we all know. So pop that into place. I like these sheets for this kind of project because it just makes it easier and a little less messy than when we use loose moss. Okay, all right, so that's set. I did also, I can't help it. I have horrible handwriting, but I added little, little phrases on some of the hearts. I know somebody else will be able to do a much better job than me, but that's okay, that's what I did. So I've got these lovely flowers over here, and then I also have these flowers over here. This one is actually a mix that we ha carry in the shop called Cotton Candy Dreams. Oh, I love it so much. And it's like all these soft, beautiful colors, but we have these really cool uh, little pom-poms that have little splatters of paint that are like just sprinkled throughout. They remind me of like sprinkles on a cupcake. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in these with all of those and we'll have just this like candy explosion going on with our entire piece. I'm gonna pull out some of those. We may use all, we may use just a few. All right, oh, I love this one too. But I'm gonna save that for another project. So we'll work with these and then a couple of these too. All right, let's get to gluing on flowers. Oh, and then for greenery, we'll add this in last, I think. Uh, but I've got some Foes Baby's Breath, which it's not on the site yet, but it's coming soon. So exciting about that. This was a past uh, pick that we had with this lavender. And then one of my favorites, but I think this might be now out of stock too, which makes me so sad. Um, and I don't think we're gonna be able to get it back in, but this was a spring um, greenery as well. But isn't that, like, isn't that just a flower bouquet right there? But, well, not exactly like that. You know what I mean. Like, pull this all together. Oh my gosh, never mind. It's gonna be so pretty. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm gonna be wild and I'm just going to start gluing. I'm not even going to place everything first and figure out where it's gonna go. We're just, we're gonna willy nilly this. We're gonna, mm -hmm, we're gonna be courageous. We're gonna be a little, a little wild and crazy and we're just gonna, I say that and then I start oh, doing it. But I've gotta get one lower to the other so that they can sit on top of each other. That's, that's how that works. So I cut off the tail of that one. And then that one's gonna sit kind of on there, but then those petals, I'm gonna glue those specifically so that they catch onto that. So we're gonna glue a whole bunch right there on the bottom first. And then we might glue just a little bit under there too to catch a couple of the leaves. You can't see it from your angle, but there's a hole in between purple and yellow. Have no fear, that's where greenery comes in. So there's gonna be some holes, that's all right. This one has some, I don't know how that happened, but it did, and I'm gonna call that a happy accident that I'm absolutely in love with. So I'm gonna set that to this, cause I want that to kind of show. Maybe we'll fluff her open a little bit more. Yeah, yes we will. So this one I'm gonna focus a lot of glue on the side of the flower instead of on the other, because or on the bottom, because we're gonna set it and put it in so that it sits on its side. 
if you are making one of these wreaths to go in between like say a door frame uh, be aware of space and spatial stuff but I've been amazed at what I can get to fit in my door so okay, I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna trim this one down a little bit I'm actually gonna take the first layer of petals off because I really want that pop of purple right here you can't even see what I'm talking about I really want a pop of purple just right there to kind of complete this oh my gosh this is just an explosion of color so I'm going to take and uh, I'm just gonna rip off and then if I need to trim it a little bit more I will but there we go now it's a little it's a little smaller where we're at the moment and I'm gonna keep the tail on that one so that that tail can go into that little hole that's there and really catch on to whatever it can catch on to so there we go all right there's our explosion of color so now we got to add some greenery in there you could just stop here if you wanted to but I tend to be extra, 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 extra. I'm gonna, from our last tutorial, I'm gonna take that off because I wanna save that for a rainy day. And then I'm just gonna use these individual pieces of the Faux Baby's Breath. And I'm just gonna pull them straight off and then we're gonna cut them to size. And these are gonna be way too long, but just to give you an idea, we're gonna, so that we can kind of sprinkle those throughout. So with this, we're just gonna add a little bit of glue to the end of the plastic stem and then slide it on in there. There, right there. That's a hole that I see. Um, this even right here could be almost there, some around there. So like the little gaps, if I see a little gap, where it's almost like this dark space, I'm gonna try to bring something in there to fill that in. Sometimes you want the dark space. For this particular one, I really don't want a lot of dark space. So I'm gonna add filler in there to fill in those spaces. Also going to add some filler over like over here because there's nothing there except for the moss and it's not enough space to add a flower so we're gonna just add something there to kind of clean this up a little bit Let's scoop that under there and we'll do something on the same side on the other side too so we'll kind of frame it out and then I want to focus a little bit on the bottom too with this one that one's kind of willy-nilly I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to set that in place so now we've got that filler in and now we're gonna add a little bit of greenery and we should be good to go and before I put the glue on I'll put it in a spot to see if it's gonna fit the way I want it to and then we add the glue in so that we're not, the greenery is a little bit more fickle when it comes to sitting in just the way that you want to finish off the piece. I say that and then this one's being a pain in the tuckus. All right, I'm gonna do this one and then I think I need one up on there and then we should be done. Put her on the door and see how it looks. Did you see how cute that turned out? Hold on, you need to let's let's zoom her in. Look how cute she is. That's not a conversation heart on a wreath. I don't know what is, and I'm sure there's other things, but I love it so much. 
There's the other uh, Valentine's Day inspired wreath we have as well. If you want to check those out, you can go to odierlovely.com. They will be under the seasonal items, I believe, also under our craft supplies. Did you know that you can get 30% off your first order at odierlovely.com? You can use the code YouTube30. I gotta make sure I bring my hand up here. YouTube 30 to get 30% off your first order, and that includes the wood flowers, the greenery, the craft supplies as well. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, give this video a like, you know, all the YouTube stuff, go for it. Thanks, we appreciate it. Ding. <laughs> This is Stephanie from Familiar Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.